probably heard of INSEAN, the elite business school set in the forest of Fontainebleau, near the chateaus of former nobles and the hunting grounds of kings. Today the students of INSEAN find themselves living in chateaus and stately homes, set in picturesque villages and rolling countryside. We came here to see what it was like to live in the former homes of kings, viscounts and marquises. We also found something else. The tent people. Chateaus, like a lot of the students here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do now. I do now. Meaning you didn't when you got here. No, when I got here, P1, P2, uh, I little house. Uh, yeah, but all my life, it's a nice little cottage, going college. Okay. But now, you know, now I live here in Flurry. How did you get in? I understand it's very difficult to get rooms in Flurry. I met someone, and they live here. And Sort of a romance. Well, it's a girl. It's a girl. It's um. It ended up being. It's romantic. What is it that you, you know, that you really liked about this girl? No, the house is pretty sweet. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Thanks for having us. Should I take you to the gardens? Thanks for having us. Um, so you're an NCAD student? Yes, exactly. Now, do you have a staff here? No, because we don't have a staff. We don't need staff. I mean, we're students. We have some people looking at the garden, a very good garden, but that's what we have. Obviously this is a beautiful house and I'm sure there are many advantages to living here, but I wonder what you would think about maybe giving up some of the comforts of the chateau for the freedom and the connection with nature that you would get by, say, living in a tent. Living in a tent? No, I don't think so. I mean, in suffering maybe, but in a business school, not really. I think, you know, this is as close as nature as we need to be. I think he's right. Yeah, let's wake up, Johnny. I heard a lot of INSEAD students live in chateaus. Fuck that, man. I live in a tent. Really? Yeah. Can we come and visit your tent tomorrow morning? With pleasure. This is going to affect your GPA. <laughs> <laughs> the last fucking thing I care about, obviously. I'm worried about getting a cold. <laughs> That's alright. How long have you been living here at this point? Six weeks. No? Seven weeks? Something like that. And there's your desk? This is all you need. What does it cost? Oh, it, uh, this, this is a, a, a Kitsuga T4.2. T it's a, it's a like eight people tent 
five times three meters costs 98 euros. And it costs us seven euros a night to be here, significantly cheaper than anybody else is paying. We got everything we need. I got a satellite TV, I got electricity, I got a whole multimedia setup, wireless, wideband, it's all there. Do you have a Wi Fi connection? Yeah, actually, no, we don't. Maybe just chat about the biggest drawback. My parents were, let's just say, slightly disappointed. <laughs> he told his parents, I didn't. Have you got any girls back here? Can You've seen my tent. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you going to miss most about this? I enjoy very much my breakfast under our tree and watching the barges passing by. I mean, <laughs> we have to leave tomorrow. Quite sad to be leaving. This has definitely become like home. Um, I think. Um, yeah, I don't regret this for anything. I mean, really, I would definitely, if I had the time over again, I would definitely do it again. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I've had a great fucking time. It's been wonderful. It's just a pistol when it rains. Huh? It's all we ever wanted. It's all we ever needed. Very unnecessary thing.